big place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's gotta be a balancing act, like every other government. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren, or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the C-Sec Academy. What's he doing there? 
Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make him out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like him too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use him, right? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. 
You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck!
One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. The Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. What data? What are you talking about? I didn't come out to play games with you, human. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. There's no need to let things get out of hand. Fine. Have it your way. Boys? I give up. I give up. 
Please don't kill me. What's so important about this data? Why are you trying to get it? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. That's what all this fuss is about? The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the Keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? How could I help you? I'll give you my scanner. Whenever you see a Keeper, scan it. Discreetly. My database will update automatically each time you scan a unique Keeper. Then I'll update your account with a few credits. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Look out! 
Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers? All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer.
I surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. 
Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower.
surprised welcome. You have returned, human. Genuine inquiry. What may I do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari Consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest Doubtful. mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander! You, of all people, should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself.
don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength.
Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volvas? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I can help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. This music is interesting. I wonder if I can find a copy to bring back to the flotilla.
word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out.
Detective Chellick, come into my office. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellick. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. And you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard.
Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. 
He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment.
Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. So how are you liking your posting at the Academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get... Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Warrians messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turian sterilizing your people? All the time. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You? Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. 
perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed.
the Asari, roughly 1,200. The Elcor are the Geth are a hu the Krogan driven. The Volus are a member species. After the Geth secure, the Citadel is an ancient deep space. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. 
You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere. And we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir.
unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now.
Somebody's been here for a while. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. They're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out.
hostage.
Regroup! Regroup! Regroup. 